Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all are doing really well. The Ritzia haul video that I teased about in my collective haul is finally here. We are getting fall kicked off by spending easily $2,000 on a new wardrobe from Aritzia. No one does fall better than Aritzia, am I right? They just started to drop new collections for each of their brands for fall. So I picked up a few things from those collections that have launched so far, but of course there will be more launches to come. So make sure that you are subscribed because of course there will be more Aritzia haul videos to come in the upcoming months. I will absolutely be participating in all of those launches. For the items in this haul in particular, if I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of it didn't work out for one reason or another, but of course I'm still gonna share with you every Every single thing that I got, why I like something, why I don't, and that way this video can still be helpful for you if you are eyeing the same pieces. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. So in true fashion, I'm going to start out with tops, move my way into sweaters. I have tons of new sweaters, exciting sweaters. I have a few jackets, blazers, and of course, tons of bottoms too. So with tops, I'm gonna start out with this turtleneck that's called the only cropped turtleneck. I got it in a size extra, extra small, and of course, just in the color black. I actually really like this one. I like that the turtleneck is not too high. It's higher than a mock neck, but it's not like suffocating where it like comes like super high up on your neck, you know? The fabric is ribbed and it's really soft. It's almost as soft as the Bliss Tees, if you guys are familiar with those. And I'm actually surprised that cropped is in the name of this turtleneck because it's not too cropped. Like, if you have high-waisted items on, it will definitely sit, like, right inside of those high-waisted items, like, a little bit tucked in, you know what I mean? So for me, this is a perfect length of a top. This is typically what I strive to get. I really don't like anything too long because it just looks really frumpy on me. For more cropped items, there's a time and a place for it. I don't want to... Have have my whole collection be crop tops, you know, especially when I go back to the office. This is definitely something that I can wear in the office. So really like this one. It comes in other colors too, and I'm definitely going to check it out. The sleeves are a little bit long, but again, that's pretty normal for me. Next up is this long sleeve that is from the brand TNA. I got it in this heather gray color and in the size extra, extra small. This one is a little bit different than what I thought it was going to be online. So it is like a thicker material. It kind of has this peach fuzz feeling to it. It's actually really soft, but it's like more on the thicker side. It's not as lightweight as say the last turtleneck that I just shared with you. There is literally no stretch and no give in this. So I would definitely recommend sizing up in this top. The extra extra small is way too tight. I actually struggled to get this on. And the top of this is a mock neck, but this mock neck part is not super stretchy either. So I am I'm gonna go ahead and exchange this for a size extra small, see if that works out for me. And I really do like the length of this. So again, this is going to be a crop top, but this looks so good with any of like the work pants, cargo pants, trousers, like that sort of vibe that's in trend right now. This is also a little bit more on the inexpensive side. It's $35. So I really like this. I think this comes in other colors too, but yes, definitely please size up in this. So next up, I got this black top. It's called Shine and it's kind of like a bust year type of top. It is gorgeous. First of all, the material is kind of like a silk material. It is super soft, super just silky, right? Against your skin. It feels so good on. It is really thick too, which I like. Like this is like double lined and the material is pretty thick. So I feel like the quality of this is amazing and it better be for the price too. This is more of a fitted top and I did go with my size extra, extra small. It's really easy surprisingly to get on and off as well. This has a zipper on the side of it that goes almost all the way to the top. So it makes it easier to get on. It is a little bit longer too. So it brushes right up against like high-waisted items. I also love the square neckline of this. It is gorgeous. This one also does kind of provide a little bit of support because of the seam right here. So this is a top that I don't wear a bra with and I just absolutely love the look. This is going to be so great to dress up, dress down for the fall time, layer different cardigans or blazers over top and it's going to be so cute. We're finally getting in to sweaters. I have a ton of sweaters to share with you guys. I need to stock up on some new sweaters. I need to get with new trends. I just donated a ton of sweaters, so I am ready to get some new ones in my wardrobe for this season. Some really cute ones, ones that are just like more fitted, a little bit cropped-ish 
like that's the vibe that I'm going for. Something that's a little bit elevated too and not like super basic either. Something of interest, if you will. So the first one, of course, doesn't meet that criteria. It is a sweatshirt and I love the shrunken sweatshirts from Aritzia. I feel like for me, this is like a sort of sweatshirt that I can wear into the office because it's not oversized, it's more fitted, it looks really good with jeans. So that's why I love this one in particular. This color is called Feather Gray and I already have feather gray in the oversized boyfriend hoodie and also the boyfriend sweatpants. So it's also really easy to get this in a color that I already own in other items. So that way I will always have a matching set, right? This color is so gorgeous too because it's kind of like a light green color. I get lots of questions on this color when I wear it in the boyfriend hoodie on my Instagram. So this is the color guys, it's called Heather Gray. Definitely pick it up, it is so flattering. This sweatshirt is obviously just like all the other ones from Maritzia that I love so much. Super fleecy in the inside. It's like a medium weight to it. It has like a suede, nice feeling on the outside that doesn't peel. It really holds up over time. This I did get in a size extra, extra small because like I said, I like it to be a little bit more fitted. Really easy to wear coats and stuff over top of this as well. So really highly recommend this sweatshirt. Next up is like a mock neck, turtleneck sort of sweater. So this isn't a new one this year. I have I've seen this one in at least a year, years past, and I decided to finally get it and try it out. I got this in a size extra, extra small, which again is my normal size at Aritzia, and what drew me to it and why I finally pulled the trigger is because I love this color. Online, it looked gorgeous, and it looks just as gorgeous in person. It is called Heather Dark Oatmeal. With how this one looked on the model, I thought it was going to give kind of like effortless sweater vibes that would pair really well with like jeans and stuff like that. This one doesn't fit exactly how I imagined it to fit. This is kind of like a wide, unstructured turtleneck where I feel like it looks like it's falling down on my shoulders. And with that, it's a drop sleeve shoulder as well. So I feel like this combined with the drop sleeve, it just doesn't do me any favors. It is not that itchy, but it's on edge of being a little bit itchy. I should preface with saying that my skin is more sensitive to sweater materials and like wools and stuff like that. So take my feedback on sweaters being itchy with a grain of salt, unless you have sensitive skin like I do then maybe this feedback is really helpful and valuable for you. The length of it is good. I can do like a little French tuck with it. It looks a little bit more fitted throughout. So I'm not mad about the rest of it. I think I just don't really like the top of it. Still a super cute sweater though. The next sweater I got is the Rebecca turtleneck. So I got it in this gorgeous like camel color, size extra extra small. And why I was drawn to this one is because it is more cropped. I thought it was gonna sit just like a little bit below my high-waisted jeans. It would give me that sweater warmth, cropped, Dropped, more fitted vibes that I was going for. But again, for me, I'm not a huge fan of this. This is the itchiest sweater ever on me, which I'm so disappointed for because I thought that this was gonna be like the perfect silhouette for me. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I do like how this fits in the body overall, but I'm also not a huge fan of the sleeves. The sleeves kind of like balloon out a little bit and the cuff of it is kind of long and also tight. Maybe I can roll that and it would look a little bit better. So I might be a little bit picky with my sweaters, but that's for good reason. Aritzia sweaters are not cheap. I think that this one was $138 and if I'm spending that kind of money on a sweater, I better damn well love it and want to wear it all the time. And I also would prefer it to not be itchy either. So if you do not have sensitive skin, I would try this out and see if it works for you. Again, I do like the silhouette look of it overall. The next sweater is this gorgeous beauty. This one just launched uh, a week and a half ago and I bought this so fast. This was exactly the type of sweater I was looking for, at least how it looked on the model. I wanted an elevated sweater that wasn't like a basic sweater, something of interest, like I was saying, something that was a little bit more cropped you know the list. So this really just was ticking all of my boxes. So I was really excited to pick it up. So I got this in a size extra, extra small. It's in the color matte pearl, which is a gorgeous, like creamy color. It is a thicker knit, but what's gorgeous about it is this detail on the side. It kind of gives a vest and sweater in one sort of look to it 
Oh, I love it. It does have shoulder pads in it, which I wasn't expecting. And this sweater is like on the heavier side. It also is like a tad big on me. I just wish it was like one size smaller on me. This is one of those sweaters that I'm so torn in the middle. I love the look of it. It's not itchy at all. It feels really comfortable on, but because of those couple of things that I listed, I'm not like 100% on it. And this is probably one of the most expensive sweaters that I've ever bought. It's $168. So I need to take some time to think about it, but I really, really love the look of this sweater. If you guys find a dupe for this, let me know, but definitely check it out. I think that this would really elevate your outfits for the fall time, especially if you are already back in the office or back in school. This sweater will make any outfit that you pair with it just look so chic, so put together. You would be the best dressed person for sure. <laughs> last sweater up is the relaxed v-neck. I saw this sweater on their website last year. I didn't pull the trigger then, but I definitely pulled the trigger now, finally, to see if it would work out for me. The fabric looks so soft online and it definitely is super soft. The fabric seems like really stretchy, so it makes me a little bit nervous that it might like stretch out over time and it is already an oversized, like relaxed sweater right but overall I do really like the look of this sweater the v-neck is pretty plunging it's pretty deep I love like the inside out look of it with the seams going down the front and also on the sleeves as well love the color of this it is called silver birch and I did get this in the smallest size that they offered which is a size extra to small if you don't want it to be that oversized I would definitely recommend sizing down a size or two I wish I had flexibility to go down a size or two in this because I don't want it to be as oversized as it is on me. I would prefer it to be a little bit more fitted. So if you're going for that same look that I'm striving for, definitely size down in this, but this is a really good option and it's a more affordable option on Aritzia's website too. This is just under $100 at $98. Next up, we're heading into cardigans, jackets, coats, blazers sort of category. The first up is this Belize cardigan. So this I feel like is like a cult classic from Aritzia. I've seen this for years now. This is another item that I never pulled the trigger on and I finally did. This is in the color Heather Birch and I got it in a size extra to small. The fit of this overall is impeccable. I really like the fit of it. I like the weight of this too. This is on the heavier side, but it also seems like a tight knit. It's soft, but it has like some structure to it too. It does have a belt that wraps around that you can tie if you want, but I just prefer to kind of like leave it open. It has two pockets on the front too and like high slits on the side. This is just a really classy cardigan for sure. I was imagining that the Heather Birch color wasn't going to be gray, but it was going to be a different tone. So I think that I might exchange this color for a different color, but still super obsessed with it overall. It's super good. So next up is the Little Long Puff Coats. <sighs> My love of puff coats. Thank God puff coats are still in style. They are my everything. I, mm, Love them. I feel like I have a puff coat in every sort of category. One that's like mid-length, that one that's cropped, ones that are long, ones that are like thin puffs and bigger puffs, like the megas, you know? Anyways, I do not have a long puff in a light color. I have one in black. And so this is definitely something I wanted to add to my wardrobe for this upcoming season and also to take with me into winter as well. This is also one that is packable. So you can actually stuff it all in this little pocket that it has on the inside. It says packable, flip this pocket inside out and then stuff your puff. So that's really nice, especially if you are traveling, going anywhere in the upcoming seasons and you need a jacket. This one is really lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of room in your suitcase, obviously. It's a solid length that hits mid thigh. The sleeves are good length. I love the hood of it. It's a good size hood on it as well. It's also at a super reasonable price in my opinion. It's $128. So if you're in the market for a new puff coats and one that's long in particular, Look at this one, I feel like you guys would really like it. Okay, so next up, I got a blazer. Blazers are my jam for this season. I have been on the hunt for plaid blazers in particular, cropped blazers. Blazers are gonna be everywhere, so I'm trying to stock up now on some good ones before they all go out of stock. I was really drawn to this one in particular. Aritzia does blazers so well, so impeccable. Their quality is just amazing. This one is no exception either, like the 
quality and the weight of this, it's so good. This is probably one of like the most expensive blazers I've ever bought. It's $228, but the quality matches it. So I'm not mad about that. There are shoulder pads in this. It is lined with a silky fabric. There is buttons obviously in the inside and the outside to help this close. Buttons on the sleeves as well. I did get this in a double zero and it is still big on me. I'm a petite person, what can I say? So it's long in the sleeves, but also just long in length overall. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this one in particular, but if you are interested in this blazer and you love the look of it, definitely size down in it. Well, if you want it to be more fitted, if you want it oversized and maybe just stick with your true to size size. I am so bummed though, because I love the color of this. This was exact plaid color that I was going for. This is a plaid that's gonna pair with everything like grays, whites, blacks. It'll look good with jeans. It just will look good with absolutely everything. So a little bit bummed for me, but maybe some luck to you. <laughs> So heading on in to bottoms, I have a few to share with you. And similar to what I was saying about blazers, work pants, cargo pants, trousers, those are gonna be so in style for the fall time as well. So I was trying to find some, stock up on some, find some good pairs of it. I got two to share with you today. The first is called the Ascendant Pants and it's in this birch color and I got it in a double zero. So this kind of gave me the vibe of something in between work pants and trousers because it has the look of trousers but the material is definitely very durable it's something that is washable so this is something that you can easily obviously dress down in but I also think that it could easily be dressed up too this is very fitted through the waist which I like it's a really good size for me there's no gapping at all it's nice and fitted through the butt and the hips and the thighs too and then it starts to kind of like taper out and be like more loose so these are extremely comfortable I think it's a good length the only thing that annoys me about these pants in particular is the placement of these butt pockets. For me, they sit up a little too high for my liking. It makes me look like I have a long butt. So I just wish that they would have put them like an inch or two lower to kind of like make your butt look better. So yeah, I'm not too fond about that part, but overall these pants seem like really great quality. They're really soft and I have a hard time finding pants that like fit my waist too. So I'm very pleasantly surprised and pleased with this pair. The next pants up are called the Jaden pant and this is definitely like the work pant vibe. I, spoiler alert, love these pants. I love them so much. I love the color of these. These are gonna pair with everything so well. It's in the color Turner Taupe and I got this in a double zero as well this fits really well in the waist and through the thigh and the rest of the leg it's just loose it is like a hair short but I think that if I pair these with my Doc Martens it'll look so good that it's gonna be like the perfect length where it doesn't bag too much at the bottom so I actually really like the length of these love the back and the butt of these two I'm so excited to style these and the best part about these is that they are $98 I love when I can find like solid pieces under $100 at Aritzia and this is definitely one of them okay last Last up is I ended up getting two pairs of the Cozy Fleece Mega Cargo Pants. Ended up getting it in the color Chasm. I have this in a sweatshirt and boyfriend sweatpants as well. So I thought that that would be really good to get this color because I could pair it with other things already in my wardrobe. But I also got it in black licorice as well because I wasn't sure what color I was vibing for. So I wanted to like pick between the two. So I got this in a size extra extra small and I already knew going into it that the bottom of these were wide and open and they did not have an elastic. So I already knew that they were gonna be a little bit big and I already had in the back of my mind that if I love these, then I would need to go get them altered, which I was totally fine with. I love the cargo trend and especially pairing it with sweats. I thought it was just like the perfect look. I thought it'd be really cute to pair it with a crop top and a blazer, maybe some Air Force Ones. That would be a total vibe. I obviously love the pockets all over it to give the cargo look. The pockets on the sides, the pockets on the butt. I actually think it makes your butt look so good with the added pockets there too. But to my disappointment, these are so big because in the title, they're mega. So if you're unfamiliar with Aritzia sweatpants, mega is just like their super oversized sweatpants, like the most oversized sweatpants that they have. But the waist, it has no elastic pull on it to like cinch it in even further. These are really big on me in the waist and with that, they it kind of like low rise which is fine I could be totally on board with that trend but even with it being low rise it looks like it's still falling off of me so not a good look I don't think so if you are interested in these sweatpants which you should be because they are incredible 
and I'm so bummed for myself. You should get these, but you should definitely size down in these if you want them to fit a little bit more in the waist. All right, well, that wraps up the haul, the start of my Ritzia hauls to come. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up if you did. As always, everything that I mentioned in this video will be listed down in the description, the link, the color, the size that I got. My measurements are always listed down there as well as a reference for you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe. It helps to support me and my channel. Also, go give me a follow over on Instagram I am Carissa Renee. I have tons of styling content coming for fall that I think that you guys would really enjoy. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Mm -hmm.